Donald Trump's unexpected win really came as a surprise to nearly everyone who had been following the national and state election polling, including the president himself, because virtually every poll got it wrong. And now, as Mr. Trump tries to prepare for his first 100 days in office, big questions about how Mr. Trump's supporters will measure his success, or lack thereof, and how will the pollsters tell us all about it. Joining us for some analysis is pollster Brent Maggot, president of Frank Maggot Associates. Brent, uh, always nice to see you. Clear that the pollsters nice got the quantitative stuff wrong. That's the numbers, exactly how many we're going to turn out in Michigan and in Florida and those kinds of things. But it seems like if you dig into the qualitative, the focus groups, so much of what drove Donald Trump's success was his personality and his personality traits. Well, that's absolutely right. Uh, I think that where the polls went wrong is that they were measuring uh, just looking at behavior alone and trying to ask people what they would do, vote one way or another. Uh, and polls can really, um, there can be a lot of error in a poll that does that. Uh, there's something called uh, social desirability bias, where people feel that they can't necessarily articulate what they're going to do for fear of being ostracized uh, in their social circle. And we saw quite a bit of that uh, in this particular election. Um, our data, where we dug much deeper into uh, human emotions and really understanding what was behind people's decision making, we could clearly see that there are various issues that attached to uh, the president-elect that were very, very compelling to people. Uh, things like his toughness, his charisma, his aggressiveness, all of which were seen as uh, attributes of a leader. Uh, and uh, frankly, so how, how, we saw how do we the electric... translate that? How do we translate that, though, from candidate Trump to President Trump? We saw even a couple of days ago, as the protests began, uh, President-elect Trump tweeting uh, about the presidential election. He said, "Just had a very open and successful presidential election. Now, professional protesters incited by media are protesting. Very unfair. That is as raw and as tough of a tweet as you get." And then the next morning, he follows it up. With this next tweet, love the fact that small groups of protesters last night have passion for our great country. We will all come together and be proud. Clearly, those are two very different voices he's speaking with. Does he, does he run the risk, if he tries to become too presidential, of losing all those traits you just talked about and thus his support? No, well, I think that what, what uh, the president-elect needs to pivot to now is really focus on the business at hand. And... There were certainly some indications over the last couple of days and comments that he's made that, for example, he doesn't wish to uh, discuss uh, you know, the possibility of, of trying to go after Hillary Clinton for possible uh, injustices in the past, but rather to focus on the business at hand of job growth, of the economy, uh, of making smart decisions. And, and frankly, I think that's where he needs to go. He needs to get away from uh, a number of the social issues that, uh, frankly, a lot of the electorate, I think, feel that uh, are things that have bogged us down over the last number of years. And people really want to get on to uh, what they elected him for, which, was, which is to uh, develop our society. Well, and, and also, as you and pointed out so, so often, Brent, elected him because of all of the qualities of his personality that are so different than typical politicians. So many people in focus groups saying all along that even if they didn't necessarily agree with him, they sort of liked his perspective. Brent Maggot, Frank Maggot Associates, president from Minneapolis. Thank you, sir.